Hi lovelies, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel. It's Miss Sue Henry back again with a new video. If you're new here, karibu sana and please consider subscribing. This is a channel where we do everything and anything positive. And if you're a returning subscriber, by now you know you are always my best friend. And guys, today I even don't know where to start from. <laughs> I know probably I've been missing in actions and uh, I'm even confused. I don't know where to start at, but I'm so grateful. I thank God. I'm so thankful. My heart is full. I feel blessed. I feel like all that was lost, God has rewarded back to me as in in a better way. And I just feel like in this video, this is a testimony. I just owe God a lot. I thank God and I pray that he who blessed me will help me bless another person, encourage another person and also hold hands of another person maybe going through what probably I went through uh, because what I went through was traumatizing. Probably by now you've watched my, I don't know if by now I'll have uploaded my surgery and pregnancy loss video. I don't know if I'll have uploaded it. Or this will go before that but hopefully the surgery one will go up before this so that you can be able to relate of what I'm talking about because guys um, okay lately I know I've been if you've been following me on Instagram and TikTok and maybe here in YouTube you've noticed that I've been talking so much about pregnancy loss I've been talking so much about grief I've, I've touched about infertility I mean just around pregnancy but grief and loss and also infant loss it's because it's something that i've gone through and i've felt how hard and how deep it is and how draining the situation is and i feel like in our country we don't have those people who should be creating the awareness the awareness is not well created about the pregnancy loss actually when you talk about pregnancy loss people view it like um, it's a taboo you shouldn't be talking about such things that's a taboo but these things are happening and to those whom it's happening to they are getting affected in a very very bad way and uh, they end up even hating themselves blaming themselves and guys it's the high time that we create that awareness like uh, it's okay when you lose a pregnancy it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, yeah, it's okay. Let's not like keep pushing people by asking questions like, when are you going to be having babies? I mean, this is 2023, and such questions should not be asked in 2023, guys. Because imagine you're asking somebody, when are you going to get to be having a baby? And probably they have just lost a pregnancy. I mean, um, I always say before you ask that question, always ask yourself if this person could be going through pregnancy loss infant loss or something else that you don't know and then you're there asking that question hmm? my friend that could be so wrong that could be intimidating that person that could not be fair to the person that you could be asking that question so and instead of being guilty of why you asked such questions after maybe you know the person had lost a pregnancy before it's better to just uh, just do away with the question just mind your business don't ask such questions i've also done a video on why you should not ask a woman when they are going to have a baby a woman or a couple a married couple or any person who is uh, you think they have they are at age of having babies and they are not having babies there are reasons there are valid reasons why you should not be asking those questions such questions because <laughs> it's traumatizing i've gone through loss i've gone through grief i've been pregnant after grief and i know how hard all those journeys are and guys um i'm going to be sharing uh, what i feel it's necessary with you guys but today it's a testimony today is just to encourage that mom that woman out there who think and feel like the world is the world is like coming to an end because they don't have a kid because they lost a kid because they lost a pregnancy because they are infertile just know that god's time is the best 
God's time is the best. Don't beat yourself so hard. Don't hate yourself. Just give yourself grace. Love yourself. Embrace yourself. Because it's only you. It's only you who will love yourself. It's only you who will give yourself grace. Because everybody else will be judging. Everybody else will be like, you've been married for too long. You don't have a kid. You are now this and this age. You don't have a kid. The age is catching up. You, don't, you should be having a kid. My friend, life is not a race. Live your own life and wait upon the Lord. And you, the community, the only thing that you can tell a person who maybe have lost a pregnancy, it's sorry. Do not go tell them like what to do so that they can get pregnant. Probably they have gotten pregnant and the pregnancy didn't get to term. They didn't, have, they didn't have that chance to hold their baby. So guys, let me be uh, an inspiration to you that even after loss, you can get pregnant. Yeah, you can get pregnant and have a baby, have a healthy baby and have a family. And always remember, a husband and wife, it's a complete family. You don't have to have kids for you to be a complete family. So, usijipe pressure. Don't pressure yourself. Don't don't beat up yourself so much. Sawa. I conceived with one fallopian tube because yes, I have one fallopian tube. My left fallopian tube was removed. If I conceived, it's just about time. It's just about time. Don't give up. Trust in God. Trust in God. Believe in God. Don't allow pressure. Don't allow pressure demean you. You are still a woman. Even after loss, you are still a mom. And if I did conceive, even after loss, with one fallopian tube, even you, you yourself, who have lost a pregnancy before, who have lost an infant, who is going through fertility treatment, you'll conceive. You'll conceive. You will conceive in Jesus' name. You will conceive. You'll get pregnant. And deliver safely and enjoy every bit of your baby's milestone. And this joy that I'm having, it will be you. You are next. God has removed me from the line of getting pregnant. And having a healthy baby. So we are going to the next person who God has said it's time for them to be pregnant. So let some things not stress you. Give yourself grace and love yourself. That's the slogan. Give yourself grace and love yourself, always. Uh, by the time you'll be watching this video, the baby will already be here, but I just wanted to encourage that one or two women who could be going through grief, pregnancy loss, and I'll be sharing a lot, and I hope it's going to be helpful to anyone who could be suffering from what I had suffered before. Because uh, sometimes I feel like silence is making us even suffer more, than we would suffer if we spoke out because when you speak out you create a community you're able to to get a support from the right people yeah and those people who will not judge you let me not talk too much let's end the video here and let me see you in my next video bye bye